Hey guys, in this video today I'll be doing the marker challenge where I use $200 Copic markers on the left and $20 Faber-Castell markers on the right to determine which produces the better result. Over here we have the Faber-Castell textures and we have the Copic Chow set markers. So as you can see, the nibs are actually very different on the markers. The nib on the Copic is more brush-like, whereas the nib on the Faber-Castell is a more shorter, small point. So before we begin the video, we'll do a quick comparison between the markers. So the Copic markers blend the colours very nicely, as they are alcohol-based, and the colours are much more vibrant. The $20 markers, however, do not blend very well and the paper does not react well to the ink. So now I'll begin a rough sketch of the drawing, just mapping out what the drawing will look like and starting with basic shapes. Today I'll be drawing the Hulk for today's comparison. So before we get into the video, it would be great if you could subscribe so I can keep putting out more content on the channel. So now I'm just outlining the, the sketch with Copic with Multiliner. Now that that's complete, I can rub out the sketch and rule the line in the middle so we can start the comparison. So I'm just going to start with adding a light green base colour with the Copics. Then I'm going to add some darker shades of green on the muscle for definition. So now I'm adding a grey base colour for the pants. I'll also be using a black Prisma pencil. to get a nice texture in the pants when mixed with the grey Copic. Now it's the $20 markers turn, with these markers you cannot layer that much on the paper so it is best just to layer very slowly with one colour. Thank you. 
The cheaper markers have not been able to sink into the paper properly and have made the blending very hard. So now both sides are complete. So the final verdict. So the Copic markers were able to achieve a much more smooth and better blend within the colors. The colors were much more vibrant. The Copic markers were very easy to use and I was able to go over the layers as much as I wanted. The $20 Faber-Castell still did the job but they were harder to use and the colors were not absorbed by the paper properly, giving the Copics a better advantage over the Faber-Castells. So now it's time for you guys to decide which one you liked. Did you like the $200 side? more or did you like the $20 side so leave your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe